Welcome to Fish Keeping Jamaica. Today I will be doing a canister filter made from a, a 4 inch PVC pipe. These are the fittings. This is 2 feet 4 inch PVC pipe. A chair tip. A o ring. 3 quarter inch main adapter. She cut an inch female adapter, half inch producer. This is a cap for the wastewater pipe, which you should call four inch pipe. And this is the cover for the cap. This is the another cap. All right. Okay. And this is a tangent. What you call a uh, water cement in which I be used to putting everything together. So the first thing I be doing today is to actually put the cap on both ends of the PVC pipe okay but before i do i'll be using this drill to bore a hole in this section of the fitting okay so here i go i'll be piercing hole using the drill in the pipe then i'll be fitting it together and then connecting it to the PVC pipe okay so let's go the drill is three quarter inch width a hole saw which is yours Notice it is rugged. So what I do, I use the oxal blade so as to shave off this section of the hole. Okay. So I end up. the oxal blade to shave up here so I to smooth it down and then I look at the fittings which best fits it okay now the boring is placed over the nail adapter the boring acts and it's washing tape instead I'm going to be using the silicone it should act as a, a means of fusing the grooves in the pipe together. So I have in that the disadvantage of using the silicone versus the actually pipe cement is that the silicone will take about one to two days to actually cure that means I am unable to actually test this today right. nevertheless I continue in my quest to make my constant filter okay now the two parts have been added together. What I will do next is to put this section here. And the purpose for this is to ensure that I am able to 
open the filter at times so as to maintain so as to change uh media and so as to monitor the progress of the filter so i am applying some pipes pvc cement and this pipe fitting in which i placed here you notice the pipe it has the end section here i prefer this section i um end up um cost me less because i would have to buy more fitting so as to ensure that this can work so i and at the hardware you can get these you can get this waste part right size if you go to the right hardware so it's now on okay. all right uh, then next I'll next I'll attach this end here using the PVC cement now points the note the pump being used is very powerful thus all measures should be taken or is being taken ensure that whenever pressure actually hits this section of the filtration system it can hold and I do not have to actually reinvent the wheels Sure that the PVC cement is actually across everything. Now what will happen is that the cover for this will go here and this will sit and cure for about two days. So in two days time I attach it to filtration system. Let's see how it works. Here is a canister filter in operation. After all that work, I have actually installed it. Um, I have made a few adjustments so has to allow for speedy, regular maintenance. I have included this connector where in which um, whenever I wish to maintain it for example when I realize that there is too much gunk coming out of the filter and that suggests that it needs to be maintained so I would disconnect this section and disconnect this section and then I would um, take it apart take it down and um, maintain it no, I have actually sealed it because it was giving me a little bit of leakage. So I am going to have to um, adjust the mechanism which keeps everything in place, which is tentatively in the near future. Now, um, points to note, I did not show you exactly what happened in, in packing it, in packing the, the canister filter. Now, the canister filter is packed with sponge, sand stone 
and a piece of mesh now the a piece of sponge is placed here so as the water flows in it goes into the it goes on the sponge it goes down water goes down through some sand to about here right and from here to here you have gravel large pebble gravel like right? and, and the sponge and is a piece of mesh right um the water continues to go and flow right it's regulated by each tank by each pond each pond have their own regulated valve so the water travels along the main and um into the pond that is being filtered currently um goldfish breeding pond is being filtered now the pond is filtered by a uh, two point about 2.1 horsepower um, pump so it's very strong it can be used to filter all 15 pounds but the reason why this is not being done as yet is because I now need to install uh, overflow on all 15 pounds coming down so as to ensure that the water doesn't waste and when the doesn't waste when the the pump actually sends the water into the pond the excess water will actually be um, direct, diverted into the inflow and the water will continue to circulate nicely now the canister filter is this canister filter is very good um, in that it, it controls turbulence it um it helps to strain the, the, the diverse um, size of gunk that might be in the pond now, however at times you might find that the sand escape um, through the sponge through the gravel and end up into the pond so um, in the future because I intend to make one for the IBC tote right and um, in the future I intend to use a thicker sponge sponge that actually covers the entire area um, some persons may choose to use filter pads and these filter pads um, they sell in garden store they are like plastic um, they allow water through and they have some them some fine holes or areas in which the, the, the gunk and the sand and the debris are trapped um, that's a little bit expensive for me so I just revert to using the sponge now it's interesting to note that um, the you have different types of waste that exist within the pond and you may end up have the fish getting sick so as a result of this mechanical and biological filter it might just help to reduce such risk however in the future i intend to include three mini canister filters and it's permanently set uh, one will have carbon one will have um, gravel one will have sand and the water will actually go through all three before they end up through this main canister filter which sends the water uh, which sends the water back to the pond um, thank you for watching Fishkeeping Jamaica um, it was really an interesting project I know that I should have showed you step by step as I put the parts together in the sense that um, before I install it but i will be making another one so we can go through that but i was in a little bit of haste and um i did not remember to videotape the section i was in a little bit of haste because i had to take down the um the, the filter that was up there because it was just not working as all it should um thank you for watching fish keeping jamaica have a wonderful one